In this video, we're going to look at how to solve an equation such as x squared bracket 10 minus x squared close brackets equals 9. So let's first of all expand our brackets. So x squared times 10, well that's 10x squared. And x squared times minus x squared, well that's going to be minus x to the power of 4. And that still equals 9. Well now what we want to do is we're going to bring everything over to the uh, right hand side so we get a positive x to the power of 4. So that will be 0 equals x to the power of 4 minus 10x squared plus 9. We could have brought the 9 over to this side and then multiplied through by minus 1 and rearranged it. Um, I just like it whenever the, the highest power, the you know in this case the x to the power of 4, is a positive. Um, so I've just brought that to the other side and brought the uh, 10x squared to the other side. Now what we're going to do is we're going to factorise. So 0 equals bracket, 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 bracket. Uh, because it's x to the power of 4 and x squared, we're going to put an x squared at the front of both brackets like so. We want two numbers that will multiply together to be 9 and add together to be minus 10. Um, so it's going to be two negatives. Uh, times together to be uh, 9, so it's going to be minus 9 and minus 1. They will times together to be 9, add together to be minus 10. Well, that means that in this case, we've got x squared minus 9 will equal 0. Or... In this case, x squared minus 1 equals 0. We'll focus on this one. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to, uh, well, we could do difference between two squared. Let's factorize it. Bracket, 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 bracket equals 0. So that would give us x minus 3, x plus 3. And that means that x equals 3 or x equals minus 3. Now, actually, you can do that in a slightly quicker way. Uh, let's have a look in this case and see how you would do that. So you could just bring the 1 to the other side. So you're going to get x squared equals 1, square root. But just remember, you're going to get the positive and negative solution. So it's going to be x equals square root and 1 was going to be, well, 1 and minus 1. Uh, so that means that our solutions are, well, we've got x equals. We had minus 3. We had minus 1. We had 1. And we had 3. So our answers are x equals minus 3, minus 1, 1, or 3. And I've just put them in numerical order. On this one, you didn't need to do complete uh, difference between two squares here. What we could have done is we could have just brought the 9 to the other side and written x squared equals 9, and then just said well, x n equals plus or minus 3. Okay? By just remembering that if x squared is equal to 9, then x can be 3 or negative 3. Um, but I was just wanted to show you there why you would get the two solutions. Okay?